We continue now on the top of Daf Chav Vav Amin Aleph and Maseches Brachas. The uh, Gemara just brought a statement from Rava that Rava said that uh, we're discussing wh- uh, if a person's in a room and with a Sefer Torah, a person cannot be with his wife. And now Rava says that if a person puts the Sefer Torah uh, with a cloak wrapped akamitra around, as Rashi says there, an argus shall svarim, a chest of svarim. So you take a cloak and you put the Sefer Torah in there and you wrap it over uh, over this uh, chest. Kechli besoch kli dami. That is similar to a kli inside another cloak. And that is enough of a separation that uh, that it's considered as if it's like in a different room, and the person can be with his wife. Amar Rabbi Yosho ben Levi, Rabbi Yosho ben Levi says, "Sefer Torah tzarich lasos lo mechitza asara." If you have a sefer Torah, you need to make a ten tvachim uh, mechitza. Uh, in order to separate it so that it's like it's in a separate room, and then again, a person can have relations uh, in such a situation. So Marzutra went to the house of Ravashi and he saw that the area where Mar Bar Ravashi was, there was a Sefer Torah, and there was a Mechitza, there was a separation of a, of a wall of ten Tvachim. Amar Lehi said to him, Keman ke Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi. He said, Who are you following? It seems that you're following Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi. Amor de Amar Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, de les le besa achrina. Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi said that about someone who doesn't have another house. Maro is le besa achrina. You have another house where you could put this in. You don't need to keep it in the same room. Amar Lehi said to him, Lava da toy. I didn't, uh, I didn't pay attention to this fact. You are correct. Gamar now continues with a quote from the Mishnah Kama Yarchik Mehenu Minat Soa Arba Amos. How much does a person have to stay away from uh, from Soa in order to Davin for Amos? So the Gemara says, Amar Rav Rav says, Amar Rav Sechora, Amar Rav Huna, in the name of Rav Sechora, in the name of Rav Huna, Lo Shanu Elola Chorav. This is only true if the Soa is behind him. Avolefanov Marchik Melo Enov. But if it is in front of him, he has to separate enough that he can't see it anymore. Vechain Latvila, that's true for Shema, and Vechain Latvila, it's also true for Tvila. Ini, is that so? V'yamar Rav from Bar Papa, Amar Rav Chista, but didn't Rav Rav from Bar Papa say in the name of Rav Chista, Omed Adam Keneged Beis Akisei Mespalel, that a person can can stand right opposite a Beis Akisei and Davin, so it seems like you don't have to distance yourself on the low end of the amount that you can see it. So the Gemara says, Hacha b'may askinan b'Beis Akisei she'en botsoa. Now over there, when he said that it was permitted, that's only by a Beis Akisei where there is no tsoa in there. Ini, is that so? V'yamar Rav Yosi Bar Chanina, Rav Yosi Bar Chanina says Beis Akisei she'amru Afapi she'en botsoa. When we talk about a Beis Akisei for these halachas. It's even if it does not have tsoa. Well, Beis Hamerchatz shamru afal pisha in both bo adam. And when we talk about these halachas by a Beis Hamerchatz by a washing house that you can't think in divrei Torah, that's even if there's no people in there. So the Gemara says, rather Ella hacham askin and rather here what are, we, what are we talking about bechaditi? We're talking about when you have a new bathroom. What it means to say is you've designated this area as a bathroom and it's never been used before. That is the case where Raf from Bar Papa said in the name of Rav Chista that a person can be lenient and uh, daven right in front of it. So the Gemara says, that's not so posh either. That was a question to Ravina. If one designated an area for a Beis HaKisei, is it considered designated or not? So the Gemara says, When did Ravina have a question? He had a question when it came to davening inside that area. But to be davening in front of the area, that for sure we can be lenient. Amar Rava Rava says, Hani Bate Kisoi de Parsoi, the bathrooms of the Persians, Afal Gav de Isputso, even though there is Tsoa, Kestum and Dumbo, they are like they are sealed, they are like they are closed. Raji here, at the top of the page, top corner explains what these uh, these bathrooms of the Persians were, the Parsoi, Bechafira Hayu, they were dug, Upiem Berachog Menaguma, and the opening was far from where the actual pit went. It was like a diagonal on a slant. Vu Beshipu, was slanted. Vare Meskalgil Venofa Laguma. What would happen is that the excrement would roll and go into the Guma far from where the person actually was in the base, like he say, uh, and so therefore you could be lenient over there to say Shema, to Davin inside of those, inside of the bathrooms of the Persians. Says the Mishnah, Zav Shara Keri. If a person is a Zav and he and he also then becomes a Bal Keri. Vinida Shapalta Shikva Zera, a woman is a Nida and she and she gives off Shikva Zera. Uh, and she's also she's also a nida. And a woman who has relations, and she's also then becomes later a nida. They all need tvila in order to learn Torah. Uh, Rabbi Yehuda Poter, Rabbi Yehuda says it's not necessary. It's Poter. Uh, to understand this Mishnah, it's good to take a look at Rashi here. So Rashi explains. Zov Shara Keri. Afal Pisha Tomei Tomas Shiva, 
Mishum Ziva. So what's going on over here is the Zav is Tame for seven days because of Ziva. Ve'en Tvila Zumeta Rosso. This Tvila that he's doing is not going to make him tar. He's going to be equally Tame. Uh, he also is a Balkari. So he's a Zav and then he became a Balkari. Now he's going to do Tvila. So this Tvila that he's doing in order to learn Torah, it's not going to make him tar. Afilu Hachi Tzarach Tvila Liddivrei Torah. Still, there's a special Halacha that he needs to do Tvila in order to learn. Ketakonas Ezra. This was part of the Takonas Ezra. Mishum Keri. Because of Keri. Vechei Nida in Bali Espal Yudches. The same would be true by a Nida for davening. So. Again, the same idea. She's a Nida who's Palta Sheikh Vazera, which is really she's a Nida who also has the status of a Balkari, Rash is about to explain. She Palta Sheikh Vazera Harehi Kabalkari. A a if a if a ni- if a woman is Palta Sheikh Vazera, she gives out Sheikh Vazera after having relations with her husband, so then she has the same status as a Balkari. It says that for three days you can't uh, the men can could not be with their wives. Lafisha Sheikh Vazera Metame Bifletaso Kal Shlosha. Because uh, when the Sheikh Vazera leaves the woman's body for the first three days, that makes her tame like a Balkari. Well Achram Mikan Kvar Hisriach Bagufa, after three days already, it's already uh, it's already lost its potency, it's already history. It's already become uh, become ruined. The Ein Roy od la Hazria can be no longer. It can no longer have children with such Sheikh Vazera. Leos od Vlad notes for him, and no child can be created from it. Vahachi Perusho Nida Shapolta Ata Hatashmish Shashimsha Esmol Kodem Sharasa. So what happened over here was the woman. Uh, the, yesterday she had relations, then she became a Nida, and then she was Palta the Sheikh Vazera. So that's the case over there. So in all of these cases, what's in common with all these cases is, and then also this last case, Vahamisha Meshes Sheroas Anida, right? She's, she's, she has relations and she's, and she also is a Nida. It's a similar case. All these cases, the, uh, the thing that's in common with them is that going to the mikveh is not going to make the person Tahor, but it still is required in order to either Davin or to learn Torah. It's still a requirement, part of the Takanis Ezra. And Rabbi Yehuda says Potter. So uh, the question in Rabbi Yehuda, which we'll see in the Gemara, is um, why exactly does Rabbi Yehuda say Potter? But certainly it has to do with the fact that this going to the mikvah is not going to make them um, Tahar. So the Gemara says, E. Bailu, they ask the following question. Baal Keri, Shara Ziva, Lerav Yehuda, Mahu. So what if it would be the opposite? It wouldn't be a Zav who then became a Baal Keri, but it would be a Baal Keri who then became a Zav. Would Rav Yehuda also be lenient in that case? Ki Pater, Rav Yehuda, Hasam. When did Rav Yehuda say over there that you're Pater from doing Tvila Bezav, Shara Keri? That's only, maybe that's only by a Zav who became a Baal Keri. To make Kar Lav Bar Tvilahu. Because from the beginning, when he became a Baal Keri already, he couldn't go to the mikvah to become tar. Aval Balkari Shara Ziva, but if you would reverse it and say he's a Balkari first, then a Ziva, then he then he becomes a Zav. To make Kara Bartvilahu, where from the beginning of his becoming a Balkari, he could go to the mikvah theoretically to become tar. Mikhaev. So maybe in that case the fact that after the fact it was Ra Ziva and he became a Zav, that doesn't matter. Oh Dil Maloshna or no, maybe not. Maybe since at this point in time going to the mikvah is not going to purify him, there's no point in going. Tashma, the Gemara brings a proof. It's the last case of the Mishnah. A woman who has relations and then she becomes a Nida. It says she requires Tvila according to Tanakama for Rabbi Yehuda Poter, but Rabbi Yehuda says Poter. So here you go. You think about it. A Mishamesh who then becomes a Nida is the same as a Balkari who then becomes a Zav. The Kapater Rabbi Yehuda, and Rabbi Yehuda still says Poter. You see from here that the reason why Rabbi Yehuda said Poter is simply because if going to the mikvah is not going to make the person talk, there's no Takanas Ezra. Tani Revichia, Revichia Tana Braisa, Behedi explicitly. Balkari Shura Ziva, Balkari who then sees Ziva who becomes a Zav, Tsarach Tvila, he requires Tvila for Rabbi Yehuda Potter, Rabbi Yehuda says Potter. Hadron Aloch Misha Mesu, this concludes Perak Misha Mesu. If you've been following along uh, with the DAF over here and you would like to know how you can help support this channel, please see the description box below. The Gemara now, the Mishnah now continues in the next parak. Tfilas Hashachar, Tfilas Hashachar and Chatzos. So davening Shacharis in the morning you have until Chatzos, according to the Tanakama, uh, midday. Rabbi Yehuda Omer ad Dalit shows. Rabbi Yehuda says the person has until four hours into the day. Tfilas Hamincha ad Ho'erev. Tfilas Hamincha a person has until the uh, until the evening. Uh, Rabbi Yehuda, until like nightfall, or maybe till Shkia, we'll see. Rabbi Yehuda Omer ad Plag HaMincha. Rabbi Yehuda says, no, you don't have until um, night. You have until what we call Plag HaMincha, which the Gemara will explain what Plag HaMincha is. Tfilah so Erev ain lo keva. Now when it comes to davening Mayrev, there is no set time the entire night a person can daven Mayrev. Mishal Musaf him kol And when it comes to Musaf as well, you have all day. Some people take out the next line. Rabbi Yehuda Omer ad Zayin shows that when it comes to Musaf, Rabbi Yehuda says you have seven hours into the day. 
Says the Gemara or Aminu, we have a contradiction to this Mishnah. Mitzvah so im It says that the mitzvah of davening, <coughs> or mitzvah rather of Kriyashma, is with Hanetzah Chama, Kadesh Yismoch Gula Tvila. So that the person says Shema right before Hanetzah Chama, and then he davens right after Hanetzah Chama, and he's davening during the day. So apparently, the time for davening Shacharis is quite a bit earlier than until uh, Chatzos or until four hours into the day. So the Gemara says, Kitanya Hayla Vasikin. <clears throat> that brisa is specifically for Vasikin. Uh, those who want to go a little bit beyond the letter of the law, Dom Reb Yochanan, Reb Yochanan said, Vasikin Hayu Gomer Nosa Im Hanetzachama. The Vasikin would finish Kriyashma with Hanetzachama, with sunrise, and then they would Davin Shmon Esra immediately after. Uh, so the Gemara now asks again, Does everybody agree that noon, that midday, is the latest and no further? However, didn't Rav Mori, the son of Rav Huna, the son of Rav Yirmiya, the son of Abba, say in the name of Rav Yochanan, There's a halacha that if a person made a mistake and didn't daven Mayrev, he should daven Shacharis twice. He should daven a Shmon Esrei for Shacharis, and then he davens a makeup Shmon Esrei for Mayrev. Similarly, Shacharis mispalo b'min Time. person uh, misses Shacharis, he should daven Mincha twice. So apparently you have a, a long time. That Shacharis, you miss Shacharis, you can daven it again at Mincha time, beyond Chatzos. So the Gemara says, Kuli Yom Matzli V'yazil. The halacha is all day really the person could daven Shacharis because you could still make it up during Mincha. But at Chatzos, you have Yileishar Tzfila Bizmana. Only until Chatzos do we give the person the reward of Tfila in its proper time. Mikan vo'elach schar Tfila yahavile, schar Tfila bezmana lo yahavile. From then on, from that point onward, we give him the reward for davening. We do not re- uh, give him the reward for davening in the proper time. Ibailu uh, the Gemara now asks, Tavilo ispalal mincha maushi ispalal arvis base. This case wasn't given above. Uh, so what would happen if a person makes a mistake and, and misses mincha? Can he daven myrif twice? Why is that a different? Why is that different than the others? So imtim salom artavelo espal arvis mispal shacharis beis. You could say that if a person makes a mistake and doesn't daven myrif, he can daven shacharis twice mishum dechad yomu because it's still the same day. Dechsev vayerev vayivokar yom echad. Evening comes before morning. It says it says it was evening and morning one day. So if he missed myrif, he can make it up in shacharis. You're still in the same day. Aval hacha tefila b'makom karveni. But here. Uh, in this case, where you're trying to make up mincha at the next mayrev, and tfila we know, is in the place of a carbon, v'kevan da'avar yoma batal carbono. So we should have a principle that when the day ends, the carbon ends. The carbon is batal. Odilm or not, or maybe not. Kevin to rachme, since at the end of the day, davening is just davening for mercy, kol emas devay matzli v'yazil. A person can always daven. So there's nothing wrong with making up mincha and mayrev. It, it doesn't follow the exact same rules as karbonos. Tashma will bring a proof. Damar Rav Huna Bar Yehuda, Damar Rav Yitzchak, Damar Rav Yochanan, because Rav Huna Bar Yehuda said in the name of Rav Yitzchak and the name of Rav Yochanan, Ta Vilo Hispal Mincha Mispal Arvis Beis says straight out a person makes a mistake and doesn't have Mincha, he can dive in two Mayrivs. Vein Bazem Mishum the Avar Yoma Bottle Carbona. There's no problem of the fact that the day has passed and the carbon should be bottle. May say they ask from a Brisa Muvas Lo Yuchal Liskon VeChisar Lo Yuchal Lehimonos. So you can't make up the the point of the pasuk here is that there are certain corruptions that can never be fixed. Certain Things where you miss them, you can never be counted among them. So the now the Brisa Darshans. Muvas lo yuchal liskon zesha batal kriyash mashal arvis kriyash mashal shacharis otvila shal arvis otvila shal shacharis. So what does it mean a corruption that can't be fixed? You miss kriyash at night or in the morning. You miss tvila at night or in the morning. Those are things that can't be fixed. Vechisar lo yuchal imanos. And what is considered a something missing where you can't be counted amongst it? Zesha nimnu chaver v'ledvar mitzvah lo v'lo nimnei imayim. Let's say a person's friends all get counted for a mitzvah and he wasn't with them. He can't be counted. It after the fact. So apparently you can't make up davening according to this b'risa, so how is it that we have this concept of hashlom, of tashlumen, of making up the davening that you missed? Amar Rebbe Yitzchak, Amar Rebbe Yochanan. So Rebbe Yitzchak says in the name of Rebbe Yochanan, Hachav Mayaskinan, in this b'risa, what are we talking about? Shabbat al where the person nullified it on purpose. It's not that he missed it by mistake. Only if a person misses it by mistake is he allowed to make it up in the next tefillah, but if a person misses davening on purpose, there is no making it up. Amar Rav Ashi, Rav Ashi says, Dekonami will bring you proof as well. Dekatani batel of alokatani ta. If you look at the language of that b'risa, it said right over here, Zesh shebatel kriyashma. It didn't say ta. It didn't say you made a mistake. It said you nullified it. Shema mina. So you see this is, a, this is evidence, this is a proof that in fact you did a b'mezin and that's why it cannot be made up.